Hi friends, this is Whitney with Faith, Trust, and Christ. We hope you guys are having a blessed day. If you have stumbled upon our channel, we'd love for you to stick around, like, and subscribe. We like to take you on travel adventures, talk a lot about Disney, and do some reviews. So today on the channel, we are doing a Q&A um, over on Instagram. If you don't follow me there, I'd love to have you. It's Faith, Trust, and Christ underscore. But anyways, I put up a Q&A box in my stories and asked if you all had any questions about Disney or um, our past December Disney trip. So our first um, question was, any tips on finding discounts on park tickets? And I actually have a full video on this. So if you wanna check that out, I will um, have that linked um, either up here in the corner or at the end for you guys. But typically if, when we did not have our annual passes, we did use undercover tourists. They typically have the best discounts. Also Sam's Club as well, or Costco Travel if you do their bundle deals. Check out that video. I go into full depth of how we save money um, going and getting discounted tickets. I never paid um, before annual passes. I never paid a full price on any of our Disney discounts. Um, check that video out. That will be very helpful for you. All right, so the next question was, what transportation is there from Art of Animation to the parks? So um, Art of Animation is a value resort and most value resorts other than Art of Animation and Pop Century only have bus transportation. But Art of Animation and Pop Century have buses and the Skyliner to take them to Hollywood Studios and to Epcot. So if you are looking at Art of Animation, I do recommend it or Pop Century just because you have that extra um, transportation option makes it really nice you're not stuck with buses for your full trip um, we enjoyed staying at pop century the only draw if i was thinking about um, art of animation would be those family suites so if you have a larger family art of animation might be your best bet but if you are wanting newly renovated rooms um, I might go with Pop Century because they have some really nice rooms there as well. All right, so my next question, it's um, not from your trip, but why is your name your name? Um, good question. Um, so Faith, Trust, in Christ, um, you might, if you know me, you know that um, that's just my life. Um, the Lord is my life. I give him all the glory for everything. Um, but when I was little, Peter Pan was one of my like top five favorites. I really enjoyed it. And if you've ever watched Peter Pan, he says when he um, sprinkles Tinkerbell, he says, all you need is a little bit of faith, trust, and pixie dust. So when Davey and I were talking, I kind of just hinted around, and but I said, it's not, I know it probably trademark faith, trust, and pixie dust, but it's not just pixie dust in my life. Um, Christ is the one um, who's gotten me where I am today and I'm very thankful to him. So that is the reason for the name of our company. All right, my next question was, what is your number one must do at each of the parks? That's a good question. I actually have reels on this and I'll have hopefully, maybe have them linked somewhere in here um, or even in the description box. But you guys know Magic Kingdom. If we're gonna do like rides and stuff, Magic Kingdom, Carousel of Progress, and um, the train all have connections to my childhood, my grandfather and my grandmother. Um, yeah, good memories. Um, Epcot, oh, I have, this sounds, so cliche I am such a sentimental person living with the land because of the boats and that was my grandfather's favorite ride but also the three caballeros my little boy on his very first trip was obsessed with that ride he loved Donald Duck I wish we were filming then you guys that is just the sweetest cosmic rewinds like my favorite ride and I think that's a must do as well. But if you are a parent and um, are going on a family trip, I highly recommend um, living with the land and the three cabin years as like your must do's of the day. 
it's just fun. And also living with the land, if you time it right and you need your kiddo to take a nap, guaranteed. They will take a nap every single time we ride it about midday my little girl is out so there's a tip for you um i personally couldn't nap on there the boat seats are a little hard but my little girl it just hits her right i guess it's just a little too boring for her, but i enjoy it it's a lot of fun brings back some really good memories so my top two probably rides at hollywood studios is tower of terror and um, Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. I used to love Great Movie Ride um, when it was before Mickey and Minnie and it was renovated. Um, I love that ride so much. It had so much nostalgia, um, but I love Mickey and Minnie's. It's such a family friendly um, ride. I really enjoy it and my kiddos do too. And then Tower of Terror, I just love it it's so thrilling and I thoroughly enjoy it so Animal Kingdom no question Kilimanjaro safaris and flight of passage um, and Pandora are my absolute two favorites those are my must do's for every trip that we go to Animal Kingdom so favorite park snack from your trip oh that's a hard one um oh man oh I love Gaston cinnamon roll. Oh, that's a good one. Um, but that's like, I, I've had that before and I really enjoy that. I really enjoyed the Wookiee cookie. Um, that was my first time trying that. And then the holiday, like the wreath mousse. I'll throw out some pictures so you know what I'm talking about. But I really enjoyed those two. Um, if it was like holiday specific, I'd go with the wreath. but. The Wookiee cookie all year round. I really enjoy that. Now I will say for the Wookiee cookie, it is huge. Like that picture that I have does not do it justice. Like it is my, like my whole hand, it is massive. You can split it between like four people and it, it's a cake on both sides. Like it is so delicious, it is so yummy. A lot of people compare it to a um, Little Debbie cake, um, the oatmeal cream pie. I enjoy it better. Um, sorry for my little Debbie people. Don't come after me. I enjoy it better though. It's fresh, it's really good, and I really enjoy it. Okay, so next question. Um, what was your favorite character dining experience from this trip? I actually have two. Um, and I have different reasons for both of those. So first off, Hollywood and Vine guys those characters were amazing and they're, they were the classic characters in their holiday attire Mickey and Minnie if you want to watch that video I'll have the link up here for you guys um, but uh, that was amazing those characters went above and beyond they were paying attention when they came over to the table Minnie was and she heard my little boy's name and she wrote his name and then my little girl's name I've never had that happen with a character um, and I'm sure they're listening, don't get me wrong, but it was very magical for them to write a little note to them. It was really sweet. And then each of the characters spent time with us, took pictures, had some funny and happy moments. It was really special and um, you're paying a lot of money and so it was really sweet that they took that time um, to spend with your little ones. We have had character dining experiences that they don't do that. Um, hint, hint, Crystal Palace. We'll get to a review on that. Um, they did not take a lot of time, all of the characters. Um, two of them did, but not all of the characters. So it made us appreciate those character dining experiences where they, there was magical moments. And so my second character dining experience we loved, no surprise if you've watched our videos, is Artist Point. Those characters, so amazing, each and every one of them. But that food, oh my goodness, that was the best food I have probably ate on Disney property. Other than Ohana, I will say they're very two different types of meals. But goodness, that food at Artist Point was so good. So my next question is, best time of the year to go to Disney? This is going to be based on you and your family. I, 
I can give you my thoughts, um, but it's gonna just have to be on you and your family. A lot of families do not wanna take their kiddos out of school, and that's very understandable. I, I understand, I was a teacher. Um, so you might wanna go in spring break or over the summer. I get it. I don't really like to go in the summer just because of heat, uh, but it may work best for you and your family. I do recommend if you're going in summer, be prepared for that heat. Make sure you have sunblock, your fans, different things to help you with the heat. Um, as far as me personally, I enjoy the spring and when it's cooler temperatures. So that's when I'm going to tell you to go. I used to tell my friends go in January, February, it's gonna be lower crowds, but this February was packed. So I don't know if I would recommend next February to you guys. Um, I think it just all depends on your schedule. I will say if you were looking for like cheaper times to go, talk to a travel agent. They're gonna be best suited to help you and um, they'll look at tickets and prices and everything and help you. I will say hurricane season is gonna be a cheaper time and I know you're gonna be like, don't need to go during hurricane season. But I mean, Disney, they take care of their guests even if there is a hurricane. Um, it just all depends on you and your family. I'm sorry, I'm doing a terrible job answering that question. So the next question is, are tickets cheaper on certain days of the weeks for different parks? Not for different parks, um, but it is cheaper during the week and different seasons. So you can actually, I show you how to uh, look at those prices and to choose different prices um, for your park tickets in my discounted video. So that's gonna be really helpful for you. But as far as like different parks, no. But Genie Plus, they do have price different for each of the parks. So my next question is, is there a rhyme or reason to which parks you go to on which days? Kinda, yeah. Um, so to start our trip, we absolutely love to go to Magic Kingdom and we love to end at Magic Kingdom. That is what we have always done um, ever since I was younger. Just to start our um, vacation there, it's just, it's iconic. As soon as you walk in, you're like, yes, I am on vacation. I see that castle, it just sets the tone. I, that's just the way I like it and I like to end it that way. I would love to say goodbye to the castle. We have ended it at Epcot before and I, I, I enjoyed that as well, but it's just very special to end it at Magic Kingdom. That's just the way we are. Um, but as far as like the other park days, like the in-between days, no. Just honestly depends on what we're feeling like for that day, that trip. Sometimes we'll just be like Hollywood Studios this day, Epcot this day. It no rhyme or reason for the the middle portion of our trip. So my next question was, what was your kiddo's favorite thing that they did? Um, my little guy, he um, rode Star Tours for the first time, and he thought that was just the best thing ever. He thoroughly enjoyed that, so he liked that as well as, of course, Buzz Lightyear. That is his all-time favorite thing right now. Um, that's right up his alley, but Star Tours and Buzz Lightyear. My little girl, she absolutely loved Ariel. That was her favorite thing. The entire trip she talked about it. She really wants to ride the Tiana ride, even though that big drop with Splash Mountain or now Tiana's by you, I'm like, I don't think that you you will enjoy that when it does open. Um, but we'll just have to wait and see. But right now, Ariel is her favorite, um, one of her favorite characters as well as her favorite ride. So my next question was, was the Christmas party worth it for your family? Thinking about it for next Christmas. Yes, for us and our family, we absolutely loved it. If you watched um, our ending to our trip, our last day, I think Davey and I both talked about that. Um, it was really, really special. Just to even start our trip off with the Christmas party was really special. 
We didn't get to like each and everything, but we did get our must-dos, the Christmas party, um, the parade, not Christmas party, the fireworks, and the parade. Those were our must-dos, as well as trying some Christmas cookies. Oh, I loved it. I will say, I do not recommend doing a park day that morning. I do recommend doing a resort day, going to Disney Springs, shopping around, and then um, going back to wherever you're staying and taking a, like, a midday break, maybe around 12, napping, getting your kiddos rested, and then either getting to the Christmas party at three and getting in line so that you can get in at four or waiting until like five, 515, we are annual pass holders, so we were able to skip all that and go right on in um, to the parks. We did not have to do um, wait in that long party line. We definitely could, but we didn't want to do it. And then we just went inside and went um, to like the station in Tomorrowland, and they just gave us our our party bands. So I highly recommend um, either coming an hour before the Christmas party time or after but to us it was definitely worth it i'm gonna have a christmas party review um i'm gonna try to get that out i don't know how soon it honestly i might do it closer to when they start releasing party tickets so we might wait on that one just for the moment um, but that will be coming up all right so the last question was best dining table service from this past trip so I kind of touched on this a little bit already with the character dining. I believe I mentioned it. Artist Point and Ohana are were our favorites from this past trip. The food was absolutely amazing. I kind of do wish that Ohana did have character dining for the for dinner as well. I know they can have it for breakfast, um, but I do wish that they had it for um, dinner. But I will say it, the food is well worth it well worth it it was so delicious and artist point man man those are my two top favorites so i can't pick between those two but those two are my favorites thank you guys so much for asking questions over on instagram um, i enjoyed this i hope you guys did as well we hope that you guys have a blessed day if you would like to join our family we'd love for you to like and subscribe we'll see you real soon